Good day everyone, this is DC37 and today I will be proudly showcasing my new tool called Wolfpack. Okay, before we begin, make sure to click that notification bell on and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thanks! Okay, first off, what is Wolfpack? Now, Wolfpack is a tool it is like mod injector however it is actually a lot better in terms of organizing your mods so let me show you here this is what it looks like so i drew inspiration from cct remember that for 2k19 it was really you know one of my favorite tools of all time you know the design is just very nice it's all in here all the names so if you compare this to mod injector you can see all the character or models uh, gfx and render mods are separated you know the way you inject them they are in a different and separated parts however in wolfpack it's all in here you can actually inject a mod a gfx model or render mod on the slot that you selected so there's no need to like okay i'm gonna replace uh, the gfx of roman reigns i have to go here and then roman and then if you want to also replace the render you're gonna go here again it's like you know you keep opening a lot of tabs here or windows which is okay however it kind of takes a lot of time so in here you can also just search it by the way roman Reigns. So as you can see here, here's Roman Reigns and uh, his SummerSlam 21. So as you can see, this is just like a mod injector. However, all of the characters or the wrestlers are now on one page. You can also see which slot is moddable. For example, here, AJ Styles SummerSlam 16 character. You cannot mod his GFX and his model. I don't know because I cannot actually find an ID for the GFX and the model. And all of these are here in the data and in the data that JSON. So if you want to edit, or if you want to add other wrestlers uh, profile you can simply go to your data.json be sure to copy this format and you can change it or you can add uh, whoever you like and also there are unused slots here uh, if we go here you can just actually type and see there are unused slots that you can use to install your gfx model or render now take note that you still need meta to do this now i haven't actually experimented a lot on these but i, I have received a lot of requests you know like literally a lot <laughs> of requests on my twitter on my youtube and also on my discord this is still very experimental you still need meta unfortunately uh, this tool cannot penetrate the game's files like you just like insert it uh, hopefully in the future it can i'm actually trying to reach out to the other mothers you know to do a collab because i want these uh, wolf pack or the mod injector tool to directly uh, insert characters on the new slots also to edit the stb however unfortunately i haven't gotten any <laughs> response from them. I don't know if they're busy but yeah I've actually reached out yeah to those people and I uh, still uh, wait for their reply and uh, you know if ever they want but if they don't want to do a collab tool you know hopefully I can also do it by myself but yeah this is to address all the unused slots uh, request but uh, so much for that uh, this uh, th there isn't actually much tutorial here because this exactly functions the same way as mod injector however you know the very first time you open wolfpack you need to go to settings and you need to set mods folder and set up main directories first this is the first thing you need to do okay if you just use this and if you just go to you know inject mod whatever directly and you don't set this up you will face a lot of errors and even probably you know this tool will, will crash so you need to do this first so go to settings after you open your wolfpack for the very first time you only do this once you don't need to do this again after you have set this up putting it here in mods and then after that click setup main directories and then it will say wolf uh, wolfpack says you're all set so if you go to your mods folder here uh, you can see that it created a wolfpack folder and it also created the characters folder the movies and also the uh, ui so yeah this is again exactly like mod injector however it is now its own bake folder which is you can just bake this it doesn't matter you know i just name it wolfpack so that you, it won't get confused with the other ones you just need to you know after you install your mods you go to cake tools and you bake this folder let's just uh, do an example here for example aj styles i know we did aj styles before so let's just choose someone else Austin's theory okay 
let's inject here when you uh, when you want to install on a slot you just click and be sure that it has a check mark on the slot that you want to install for example this one but it's the 08 you cannot install a gfx here if you try it will say gfx slot of this character is not modable so yeah be sure to have the check mark on the character that you selected so i'm gonna install a gfx mod on him again exactly like mod injector however this time you have the name a field so that it will show up here later so let's just try that so in here i have all my gfx uh, mod for punk so it says ss files that is apron banner and barricade for the uh, ent file that is the titantron and for the stage nxt that is the td now again this is optional if you have the stage nxt file renamed properly you can just put it on the ss files so i'm just gonna name this uh, cm Punk 2014 and let's click inject and there it goes GFX injected successfully now if we go back here on our main window you can see that on Austin Theory's uh, slot in the GFX status we now have our CM Punk GFX uh, installed so you can actually view this on the uh, view more info here so it's just modded if we go to our uh, most back folder in our movies here now it also created the ss and titan tron so now we have uh austin theories uh template and this is for cm punk's gfx now we're gonna install a render we're gonna replace a render as well just uh, for example still the same principle uh this one i'm gonna put uh roman's updated mo uh, okay let's just choose J so again and uh j render this is just an example okay you just do whatever you like with this so as you can see it's here you can install a model as well here same principle again can i'm just gonna browse uh the previous one uh solo uh, let's try solo yeah i just experimented with this so base model for the base model as you can see it has you know files three texture six and we could also go for the attires i think this is the one and let's just say uh, solo Sequoia 23. Um, if you have one of those mods where it only has the uh, attire folder, then you should, you know, it, it has no base folder, base model folder, I mean. You need to click this because it will give you an error saying that you need base model, right? So if your mod again has no base model folder, then click attire only so that it will allow you to inject. So, you know, for this one, we, didn't, we don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and inject. There we go. So now we have completely modded Austin Theory's GFX model and the render. So let's go ahead and bake our Wolfpack folder and let's see it in the game. Mods Wolfpack 51. Okay, let's go to our uh, entrance creation here and just, you know, so we can see Austin Theory's entrance. Uh, Austin, where are you? There we go. So, you know, the Wolfpack tool work. Austin Theory's render is now <laughs> different. And let's check his entrance as well and his model. Okay, so here we are. The GFX is now changed. That's now CM Punk's theme. Quite a very good theme. And also, his model is now uh, Solisicoa. So, this is just an example. You can install whatever you know model you like or just the updated attires updated models the updated gfx whatever you know the your imagination is actually the limit here but as you can see this now works <laughs> that is austin theory with a different model with a different gfx and with a different render so now what happens if you want to actually go back now this is one of the feature that is not available on mod injector if you want to restore austin theory's old gfx model or render you can just simply right click this one and go to restore defaults and here you can uh, restore the gfx model or render so let's just restore his render here say so are you sure you want to restore blah 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 so you click yes now it's if you view this it will say slot available again now if we go to our uh, wolfpack bake folder it will also delete the uh, injected render here if you bake this again it will have the original austin theory render so it's as easy as that this is actually like a very useful tool for everyone i feel the same way with someone who commented i forgot his name i'm sorry and if you're watching this i, I feel you bro when you said that uh, when you install your mods you forgot you know where which slot did you replace to and you have an excel file to like keep track of things so yeah this 
tool is for you you know this is very easy you can just you know get rid of that excel tool now you will just uh, install all the mods here and if you open this uh, it will actually still be here again you don't need to like taking notes of everything you do it will do it for you so it's very easy to install mods now so yeah that is wolfpack i'm very proud to uh, share this to you by the way this is a patreon exclusive tool and i work hard on the previous tools and those tools are for free for those who supported me on patreon shout out to felix bigley and ta carter thank you so much for your support this is for my patreon supporters as a way of saying thank you yeah so if you can't then no worries uh, there is still mod injector out there it's free thank you guys for watching and again this will be available on my patreon if you want to support me in my future projects uh, that is uh, very much appreciated i'm very thankful for the bottom of my heart for your support even if you you know you can't support me on patreon but if you want to yeah it's very nice and you will get this wolf pack tool which is arguably my best tool yet i guess you know as i promised the next video will be a tutorial on how to use meta tool because you know i think a lot of people are confused on how to do it so yeah let's just get into it let's get into meta and i will see you on that video peace